We're going for a trail walk tomorrow in Algonquin Park. Yep, to check out the beautiful fall colors. Yes. So here I'm gonna make a great, a simple, uh, uh, trail, trail mix. Trail snack. It's trail snack. It's right? Definitely it's not, not trail mix. mix. There's no M and M's in it. Well, th <laughs> there's the spice mix. Anyways, Inside joke, folks. Tea eggs, simple, quick tea eggs. First, you need some egg. I won't put so much. I usually choose a, a pot that kind of a matches the egg in terms of size i don't know how many i get them put. snug right you don't yeah, want them to I don't jiggle want around them to break i want at least three or four here we go that's the perfect Two, size four. so when it boils four I will... for me three for you okay, okay we won't eat so many eggs mm, okay. we'll see we'll see so anyway it doesn't jiggle when it boils and here are the spice you uh might want to add mm -mm. okay cinnamon cao guo i gotta look it up uh mm. what is that cardamom it said on that package you think, think it's, it's wrong cardamom. right because but we, we saw a package different. that had that written yeah, on Chinese english or French, english cannot right? uh, cannot be okay. trusted right that's why we have sunday tea book okay guys check that out <laughs> right and this is uh clove mm -hmm. clove yep uh, star anise star anise super yummy and i like hot. a little bit of hot pepper she's nuts not a very no, hot, I like it too. but just a little bit flavor and tea, of course, you uh, the best, the, not the best, more traditional one is uh, black tea, but I have some fudron here. Mm -hmm. uh, you nice. can, and those are two sides. I separate them because you can either do this one without tea, it's also yeah, very yeah. delicious, or with just tea. That's another version, however, how many ingredients you have. Yeah, we just can't say that the tea is optional on a tea channel, but yes. you know, it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, here you have... Uh, um, Soy sauce. Regular soy sauce. Yep. The brands doesn't matter whatever you have. Whatever Rock you sugar. like. Uh, rock sugar matters, okay? It right. cannot be jazz sugar. It cannot be soft pop sugar. It has to be rock sugar. Right. Dark <laughs> soy sauce for coloring and uh, salt. There's an yeah. egg leaking. Right, with little a bubble. bubbles coming out. You can just see the little stream there. I don't know. Uh, cold water, bring it to a boil and the water amount past the egg height. Okay, now the water has been boiled for about uh, four minutes. Vigorously. Vigorously. Doesn't matter if they crack, because guess what? Crack in them anyway. And I developed a new, not I developed, I found a new tool for eggs, okay? Pull them out with whatever works for you. Oh, yeah, you're you can, good with that. I didn't, I told couldn't. told you this is the perfect. And into a cold water bath. That's Have a bath, right. you dirty little egg. If you're doing that at home by, your, by yourself, you don't have to do this kind of fancy thing. I usually just dump the water, put the tap water in. Today, I'm being fancy. Just for you. Yeah, just for you. All is satisfied. Oh, you tried to go for oh, two, didn't you? Oh, I cracked one. Well, we're cracking them one. anyways, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let it be there for a bit. And we're back. Yes. I changed the water, put in some hot water, and I'm just gonna put in the spices. Heat on again. Yes. While, while I crack the eggs, I want the spice at least to, you know, infuse so, the water. Does the tea go in as well? Or? Yeah. Oh, it's all going in. We're making tea, Everything. folks. Everything. Okay. Because of this recipe, I don't boil the, the egg in this water for long. Some recipe call for boil for like a, an hour or something like that. I right. don't know. Too but much I don't trouble, do that. right? Yeah, too much trouble. And ta da da ta. Oh, use this plate or the counter to crack the egg. Oh, this is the fun part. This okay. is the okay, folks. Viewer discretion is advised. This is going to get a little violent. Boom! Boom. Yeah, no. oh, it didn't even work. <laughs> it didn't crack. <laughs> However you want to crack it, doesn't matter, you crack it, okay, you crack it. Look at, oh my gosh. Okay, it's... I'm going to put it in because I'm out of space right here. Oh, I might have put too much water. That'd yeah, be all right. Yeah. Again, uh, for the water amount, you just want that to be over the top of the egg. So everybody got it even like coloring. Mm. Yeah, you don't want it to go over the top the top of the pot which we're heading towards but i yes. think we'll be okay you're usually good at getting it right at the top of the pot <laughs> okay. another inside family joke 
Oh. Yo, three more eggs. Oh my god, I. Do we I can think... spoon a little bit out. We okay, can spoon a little okay, bit out. I really think I'm gonna go Here, for let, it. Let me crack one. Okay, okay. I'm getting involved, folks. Oh, yo. This is a technique. Nah, oh, not really. you just gotta be fierce. I'm Don't go feel in. like. Good job. I think I can fit one last egg. You in. can totally fit one. Look, what do you think, guys? Place your bets, place your bets, and no more bets. Okay. So, okay. here we it's go. It. Nice. Mm. Bad news, I'm gonna put soy sauce. <laughs> anyway, don't put so much, it's too much water. So, coloring soy sauce going in, don't... About that much, did y'all catch how much Generous. That That's how much, be generous. Because you not only want the Especially soup to be black. Especially if you put so much water. Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, you want the uh, water to be really dark because, you know, inside the... You want to stay in the egg, right? That's right. Mm. Okay. You want to have those pretty patterns on the egg when you peel it. Yes. All those lines that we just created. If you have more space, you can put more soy sauce, but I'm running out of liquid space, so less soy sauce this day. Put about this uh, mini handful of, uh, you know, rock sugar. If you yeah. like that sweeter, you can put a little bit more. Just remember this recipe, you put a little bit more than anything because we want the flavor and the taste and in the, the egg, seasoning in the right? egg. Right, right. Yes. So, uh, don't be shy. Don't be shy. I'm gonna add a little bit more coloring. See what I mean? She's really good at getting right to the edge. Yeah. Without going over, usually. Yeah. Salt. Make sure to make that a generous amount because you want the, the liquid to be salty so that the egg will be perfect with salt level. So, if you try the liquid, yeah, it should, should be, be a little, little bit too salty. too salty. Don't be alarmed. Yes, I oh, this is really full. It's pushing my limit too. You got a good half centimeter. And cook at home, yeah. initial step. Not initial, I mean essential step. Give it a taste. A little bit more salt. Not salty enough. Okay. Not to mention when you trail walk. Everybody calm down. Yeah, that's right. A little bit of extra salt won't kill us. Yes. So I'm gonna let it simmer for about uh, 10 minutes. And. We'll see you in 10 minutes. Bye bye. Great. Now the egg has been so not soaked. Steep. I mean, uh, not steep. even steeping. Oh, we're too. Uh, how do you call it? Simmer, are... simmer, simmer, simmer. I know go. it starts with S. <laughs> uh, simmer for about uh, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, it's time to get it out. The, the how, reason, what's the maximum you can let it simmer? Is uh, there a maximum? You can boil that for a long time. There's no maximum. Minimum. So the purpose. Folks, if you I'm asking are, the annoying questions, yes, so you don't have very to. Very annoying. <laughs> so, I'm for some recipe boil that for a long time. You can boil that, but I'm just uh, like, I don't like to boil that for so long. I'm not patient. Something on the stove is a lot of stress. Anyways, so the purpose of my boil time of 10, 15, why it doesn't matter is I'm not uh, trying to get in the flavor in the egg. I'm just trying to get the uh, flavor of the spice out into the liquor so that I get right. The major thing for me is soak them, soak those eggs. Right. Hot eggs. Which is cool. what you're about to witness. Yes. The transfer uh, of fine. the liquid. Right, right. See the tea leaf? Don't. <laughs> so um, find a container that is kind of tall so you can soak the egg fully in here. Something like that. Okay. Fully ish. Keep the spices in there and all the tea that you can get in. Yeah. All the spice you can put ideally in so they marinate. And once it's cooked, you can tuck that in the fridge. Uh, several days in the fridge, no problem. Mm. Yeah, you can make that for the whole or week. Or a day in the backpack, as will be the case for us. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Just let it cool and tuck it in the fridge. There Done. we go. Can't wait to eat these. Oh, no signal. I'm going in airplane mode. Save battery. Okay, so we've arrived. And uh, we're in Algonquin Park at uh, Lake Travers, or Travers Lake. Uh -huh. And um, I got to... See if we can make us a little bit less shiny. I got to... Uh, go down a little bit. I have to get my bearing. We're going to be going behind us, some way like that, but let's just, let's go down to the water and show them the water. Oh, maybe we from here. I'm going to flip you around and show you the beauty. 
So not too, uh, right? Not as, not as colorful as we were hoping, but we're still hopeful when we get to the, our target lake, yeah. Lake Eustache or Eustache Lake. I was just camping in Quebec, so I'm all mixed up how I should say the lake. Is it before or after? Anyway, here we are. Well, you just did the sign. They put lake, a lot, ABC lake. Right. You just do that. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll stick with that. So anyway, that's what we're doing. So now I've got to walk around and figure out where is we our don't trail. We know where we're going. Yeah, freaked her out. I, I have to find the portage trail because we're not using a regular hiking trail today. We're going to be using a portage trail and then doing a bit of bushwhacking. So let's get, uh, and then let's get brewing some tea somewhere really weird and remote. <laughs> Gong Fu anywhere. Now I look better with a proper backpack. No more steady cam. I'm just grabbing. We had to put our away our fancy gear. And now we're just uh, finding that trail. Portage trail <laughs> should be up here. <laughs> both. both. <laughs> we arrived at the bird. Uh, yeah, we found the portage trail. So what is, I didn't know where they write on it. So it says we're headed to uh, Petawawa River Poplar Rapids in 660 meters. We're not going to jump in the water though. Well, she's not. We'll see about that. Anyway, it didn't take us much more than uh, two minutes to find the trail. Can but... you hear me? Yeah, I think they can. Oh. See you later. Still a little too lazy to get out the... Uh... So we're, we're now off trail. We've come to the end of the portage uh, where you saw we probably showed you the picture of the beautiful lake. And now we're just keeping the lake on our right and it's heading. Sun. Yeah, Go sun is coming out and we're just heading through the uh, woods off trail. So pretty fun bushwhacking here. About 600 meters of this, which isn't too bad. It's pretty open. Can I spin you around to show you that? Bushwhacking. No. And she's got a bushwhacking stick. So we're gold. And then we're going to have tea soon. I cannot wait to have tea. I've got six liters of water on my back. So I'm <laughs> eager to lighten that up and bring it closer to my center of gravity. Talk about living in harmony, right? Who says we can't be friends if we're different? This birch and this cedar, they're getting along fine. Wow. Look at that. Right out of the center. You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, three. Oh. I don't know if some of you have heard about the phenomena of forest bathing, but here is Jen, both forest and sunbathing. We caught a nice little uh, the break in the clouds as we continue along our our uncharted route. Still skirting the lake. We cannot can't see it as easily. You guys probably can't see it. I can still kind of see it through the trees, but this is our trail, quote unquote. Uh, I think we got about another maybe 200 meters of this before we hit the next portage. We pick up the next portage. We're just coming in around an inlet. So as soon as we arrive at the, uh, we found the campsite we were looking for, which we've probably showed you a map um, of where we were going. So we found the campsite. We haven't made it as far as we thought. Mm -hmm. We've been out for about an hour. Oh, are you on? Yeah. Oh, good stuff. And, but this is a beautiful location. We've stopped to have tea. We're at the head of another portage trail. And uh, yeah, we're about to brew up. So just to show you how you can gong fu anywhere, a little bit like cheater gong fu, but still, we've got our little um, travel oh, kit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, and we've got, and we've got four liters of boiling water. We really picked up heavy. this ridiculous thermos at, at Costco, I think. We'll have a thermos review by the end because we had two kinds of uh, Yeah, you'll thermos. see the other ones too. So we're going to just figure out which ones we're going to keep. This one has the advantage of clearly of volume, but also... And we can go to moon with this guy because of how <sighs> ugly it is. Yeah, it's a rocket. So anyway, we're going to get brewing. We'll be back when we have some tea made. Okay, so you saw us prepping for this last night. There is the gorgeous marbling of the tea egg and it's going to go on my tummy. We're at our first stop eating a lot of our food. The load is getting light. We've got some tea brewed up. So we brewed up a Taeguan Yin just to prove that you really can. Well, not just to prove, we do this all the time. 
but may, uh, gong fu anywhere with our little cheater gong fu set. Mm -hmm. So it's called a tea egg for two reasons. One, often made in tea, and two, can be enjoyed with tea. Yes. Mmm. You gotta do those commercial guys. Hiking fuel. Is that a good one? <laughs> so this guy's not as bad as it looks. Of course it is. It's still pretty full. So we've got like four kilograms of boiling water in here. But it is hot. Hot enough to brew tea for sure. Pretty um, lukewarm, I feel like. Okay. Not super hot. I just hot. feel like a... The lid is not properly insulated like a real thermos. It's a thin lid, so you can always feel warmth coming out the lid. Yeah. But what I like is the handle is pretty balanced. So even though it's super heavy, it's pretty easy to have a, as you saw, a pretty nice pour mm, without true. having it just come gushing out and splashing. So as long as you can handle the 4 kg of weight, you can gong fu with that monster, which doesn't look elegant, but can be effective. And we're just going to go by liquor color here. That looks just about ready. Hmm. Let's have some peach oolong Oreo. Oh, with our Tae Guan Yim, we've yeah, got yeah. these delicious, <laughs> tongue-in-cheek, delicious peach oolong Oreos. Honestly, not bad. Put that in your pocket. Especially when you're hiking. Ooh. So that we can nibble Ro nibble. Roasted nut mix with dates. Right. I got a pocket made for this right here. They're a little <laughs> bit wet, huh? I was gonna say something's wet here. Oh yeah. yeah. Something leaked. It's yeah. okay. All right. Further in investigation needed. So there's a very attractive rock that Phil has to climb on. I don't know if uh, you can hear me up there, but I'm gonna head back up. Nice view up there. Beautiful view of the river here. Oh, I was just climbing on the rocks so I'm a little winded. I would, I wonder if this is a good paddle. Looks pretty fun. Looks shallow. You don't care, I guess. No, that's pretty big water through the center there. Right there. Okay. Looks pretty deep. But that's like a, it's a pretty big drop in a short period of time. Hmm. Oh. Pog. Okay, this looks super fun. We're just uh, past where we just grabbed our little tea break and lunch. And uh, look at this water really moving. This is uh, October 3rd. We've had plenty of rain. So this is like, I probably like spring water level, maybe even, maybe less, I don't know. But look at how it's moving. It looks pretty good, looks, and this is a big drop here. Look at that. But I think it's doable. I think it's doable. Wouldn't want to miss it though. And then there's more down there where we were eating by that big rock right there. Oh, this is just beautiful. And baby's just getting a little, uh, some needles out of her shoe. So we made it. I'm pretty, I'm super stoked because I was, I'm super stoked because I thought I was lost in the woods and and me too. <laughs> so we weren't we weren't lost. I knew I knew we we're following a, a lake and I have a map, so I I can't technically be lost. But then we had to head out. Oh look at that guy, chipmunk. <gasps> then we had to head off of the lake towards this here rail, this defunct CN rail bed, Canadian National Rail that you see here, and this is going to take us to our last leg, which is about two and a half kilometers into Eustache Lake. So it was a bit of a leap of faith. I had to turn left off the lake. The GPS is off by like 500 meters. So mm. my dot is like, I'm kind of eyeballing it. Anyway, here we are, we made it. 
bing, bing, bing. We had one tea stop, smart. but we're super, super excited to have Hot Pot at Eustache Lake. That's right. Wait, wait for it. You'll see. There's so many mini animals somewhere. I'm just looking for them. <laughs> All right, later. I don't know. I'm going to try and zoom in on it. So these things have been scaring us. We're walking in the woods. We're on this rail track now. Here. I got this quite zoomed because we're pretty far. These things are skittish. We'll be walking in the woods and then suddenly they take off and scare the hell out of us. <laughs> Let's try and get closer. Somebody tell us what it is. I don't know if it's a partridge or a grouse. I admit, I've been calling them Canadian chickens. <laughs> I'm sorry about the steadiness. It's really, oh, and he's gone. See how skittish they are? We're like, we're this far away. I'm going to go with like 20 meters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And okay, about 15 meters. Another one, the second one. Yeah, there was a bunch of them here. I don't know if you heard it, but that's the sound from a distance. In the woods, we hear that sound when they're about one meter from us. They're invisible. Ayo. Okay, let's cross it. And away we go. Okay, so we've arrived at Eustache Lake and a uh, little bit behind schedule, or at least feels that way. So we just set up kind of as soon as we got to the portage head. And we've got a hot pot going. I don't know if you can see that steam shooting out, but we brought this all in one help? hot pot. I think so. I cannot change it. Oh yeah, yeah, we can see that. Okay. And I think they can hear it. It's just gushing out. Oh my gosh, look at that. Da -da -da -da. And we've got this little Sichuan dish. This is not a spicy hot pot. Today. Yeah, that's really good. We got a beef and a tomato hot pot. And this is a spicy Sichuan style. Uh, uh, cold dish. dish. Yeah, yeah with really good. Bamboo, lotus seed, no, lotus root, seaweed, and some other stuff. This, this thing's totally impressive, I have to say. There's just, in it is just a little thing like you would put uh, in your gloves in the winter, except obviously a lot hotter because it boils water like pretty much instantly. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to go eat now. Bye-bye. Oh, you're in the fog. <laughs> we'll make it out before dark, but it's going to be close, so we don't mm -hmm. have as much time to explore and goof around as we were hoping. But we got to look at the... Um, we got to look at the... I got the drone up and had a look around. So hopefully we'll share some of that with you. And maybe we'll come back someday. It was quite beautiful. For sure, yeah. Or go somewhere else. It's a big, big park and an even bigger world. Mm. So we're going to get out of here. Got to get going. Yeah. We're racing the sun. Bye-bye. All right. So we, uh, we just walked as fast as we can from Eustache Lake. We're now back at the first leg of the portage trail you can see that's the put in behind mm. us and in front of us about 600 meters is civilization well <laughs> I, not really civilization but the area where our car is yes so uh we're well, gonna get out of here while it's light which is excellent we had a great time i was afraid it would be so dark by the time we come back yeah i was pretty sure we'd make it but better to be safe than sorry you don't want to get caught in the woods in the dark especially off trail yeah so anyway we it was fun though, it was really fun. Yeah, it wasn't as colorful as we hoped. We we're a little too far <laughs> north, but uh, beautiful fresh what? air. <laughs> totally miss our point. <laughs> yeah, we totally came here for the beautiful autumn colors, but uh, we'll try again maybe some other uh, week if we can squeeze it in. Okay. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna get out of here. All right, so as we said, we tried out a couple new thermoses um, while we went on our walk. 
we got the this pair for a pretty good deal, right? They came as a pair. We mix and match the bottoms to make them cute. <laughs> but um, yeah, and not satisfied. The lid is really thin. Let me just show you. It doesn't have like a thick thermos type lid. And we noticed when we put the hot water in it, the lid got quite warm, so it was the heat was escaping, and the water was not suitable for brewing tea. It's probably pretty good for just icing ice, ice water. Ice water probably and stuff. fine, yeah. but for brewing tea, not fine at all, even after just a couple hours. Then we got this monster as well. At this, this one, I got to hold it far away. It's so giant. This thing is huge. Okay, it's a four liter. I was, I was really excited for this, and it didn't work out. Basically, to keep it short, the same problem. The lid is just thin plastic. It doesn't have that, the deep lid you're looking for in a real thermal protecting thermos. And um, unfortunately, the water was not suitable for tea making after just a few hours. So mm -hmm. we ended up getting a different one, which we'll talk about at a later time. But both of these are going back as not suitable for brewing tea after just a few hours. Very sad times.